Hi folks, in this video we will see how to install Quick Start VMware in Windows system. So we will follow only uh, three steps to install it. Okay, the step one is we have to download and install VMware Workstation Player. Okay, I will provide a, a link in a video description or a separate uh, resource section. Okay, and the step number two is once we complete this step number one, we have to download Cloudera Quick Start VM source file. Okay, so for this also, I will try to provide the link in the video description or in a source section. Okay, and the third step is once we complete first and second step, we just uh, you know set up our uh, Quick Start VM on VMware Workstation. Okay, by using source file. Right, this is very easy. Uh, please follow uh, the steps that we are discussing and it will be installed in just uh, uh, you know 20 to 40 minutes right okay so let me open google and paste uh, the link which i have for vm vm workstation player okay just uh, paste here and uh, click on enter and here you can see uh, two options one is for uh, uh, you know source file for windows and source file for linux in this case we we will download for windows right so just uh, uh, click on uh, download so it will just take uh, four to five minutes based on your internet speed okay and uh, once we download this file right we can uh, go to the location where we have downloaded double click on this to install it uh, installation is in progress see since i have already installed so it may ask for change yeah uh, anyway and uh, i will click on change for your for your case when you are installing first time uh, directly it will take to default installation process right Since the file is big, it may take uh, a minimum of an hour time based on your internet speed and uh, it is in GIF file format, okay. So once you download this file, you try to unzip it by using 7-zip or a normal software that you have in your machine. Again it will take another 10, uh, 5 to 10 minutes to unzip it, okay. So I have unzipped it. This is the folder where uh, I have stored it okay if you click on this see these are the files inside it okay now we successfully uh, downloaded the quick start uh, vm software uh, now we have to install on our machine by using vmware workstation player all right okay for that right we just uh, uh, click on uh, vmware workstation player software and uh, once it opens then just click on a uh, open virtual machine okay in my case uh, i have already installed so this is the software where we got installed where we got downloaded so just click on okay and uh, and open it okay so since i already installed i just click on uh, cancel okay but but what will happen after uh, clicking an open button i will show you right so so now uh, it looks like like this so uh, click on edit to virtual machine settings it will redirect to this page and where you have to give at least minimum 8 gb ram uh, you know for minimum uh, system requirements okay and the processor if you have more than minimum you try to give two if not at least one okay hard disk by default it will take it and let it be uh, you know around 10 gb sufficient for development purpose okay just click on okay click on okay then uh, and click on play virtual machine or start virtual machine okay so this process uh, will again take uh, 20 to uh, 30 minutes by first time 
and uh, once you are able to complete uh, successfully then uh, uh, it will redirect to this page uh, cloud era manager page where you can you can open uh, any of our software which we want okay so terminals also we can use it and uh, we can check whether the, this is working or not by using sudo jps command and here these are the services which are currently running that means our software is successfully installed and it is ready for working okay so that's it guys uh, if you have any questions please uh, do let us know in the comment section we will try to answer it thank you